9 News. No matter what we talk about, early detection has almost become a throwaway term when it comes to cancer. We know it's easier to treat in the early stages, and the outcome is often better. Here, though, is an exciting example of what can come in the treatment of breast cancer. Denver's Rose Medical Center is the first to be a part of an international clinical trial using a laser to kill cancer. Zap it, really. It is the Novalis laser, and we got a chance to see it in use. How are you doing? <laughs> Lady of the decade. What if oh. is right now for Katherine Lawrence. Diagnosed with early stage breast cancer, she was given the chance to be a part of something big. There was no doubt, no hesitation. I was all over it. I was excited about it from the minute she mentioned it to me. We're looking at a real super space age change in how we treat breast cancer. Dr. Barbara Schwartzberg is leading a clinical trial using a laser to treat early and common breast cancer. Catherine will not have surgery in an operating room with general anesthesia. Oh, Instead, she is awake as doctors use ultrasound guidance to find her cancer. We watch the laser probe, and that's about the size of a piece of spaghetti, uncooked spaghetti, pass right into the center of the cancer. Then about a half inch away, we pass a second probe that has temperature thermistors on it. The probe used reaches just the right temperature and the cancer is destroyed. So you've killed the cancer with temperature, with heat, as opposed to cutting it out with surgery. It took about five to 10 minutes. It felt like pressure. Uh, it was not painful. Uh, they took the probe out, they put a Band-Aid on. Um, I went home, I felt just fine. There was no bruising, there was some redness, uh, tenderness for about a week, and that was it. You can't even see the cancer anymore. As part of the trial, the FDA requires Dr. Schwartzberg follow up in 28 days with a lumpectomy in order to prove that this treatment works. Already, she's seen the evidence that the laser kills the cancer. The advantages to this treatment are many. No surgery, no scar, possibly no radiation, no loss of breast tissue. Exciting, to say the least. All right, good. I think it just takes fortitude and the right patience uh, and the right, you know, support to get it done, but it definitely works. I think it's a very progressive um, way to, to offer treatment to women. And we have to remember, it's not just women with breast cancer, it's men as well. The what if that's happening right now and could become a standard of care for early breast cancers within five years. Kim Christensen, Nine News. So this first wave of the trial, they're going to need 60 patients. They've had about 20 go through this procedure so far. And while each cancer is different and some patients may require additional treatment like radiation or chemo, many more will find that their cancer treatment is complete with the laser treatment alone. And there's already talk about this in the use of other cancers such as liver cancer. I, I just Very um, exciting. I think that is phenomenal. And what a great solution for so many women and men. Well, the, uh, they estimate 600,000 lumpectomies are done benign and malignant in the United States every year. Oh my gosh. And um, it's, you know, cosmetically, it dramatically changes everything too. Right, but true. also you're talking downtime and surgery and to be able to eliminate that. That's amazing. So That's amazing. it could become, you know, standard care That's within incredible. five years. So this trial is going on right now. We have more information online if, if by chance you might know somebody that might be able to participate in oh, this yeah. trial. Oh yeah. Walk, so. don't run. I would want to be part it's of that. It's kind I mean, of exciting. It's not nearly as invasive. Progress. There's no scarring. I mean, yeah. oh, I hope this works. This would be a remarkable be thing. Yeah. yeah, I know for uh, prostate cancer for men, they're working on uh, an act, just a pill. I mean, See? there's these amazing advances for all of these things. Yeah, so, uh, we'll without keep our having to go crossed. in and do a lot of cutting. Yeah, everybody knows somebody yeah. or has somebody in their family who's had mm -hmm. cancer of some kind.